And that is why money does not grow on trees. Any questions? Actually, yes. Can you tell us about Lewis and Clark? Absolutely, my brother from another mother. To the average American of 1800, the West was a void, a black land of desolation, from whence no man foolhardy enough to march into it might return. But two Americans did lead a party into the bleakness, setting down the facts of the wilderness. Yeah! Tell me, what were the causes of the Lewis and Clark expedition? The intentions of the Lewis and Clark expedition were to explore the recently acquired Louisiana Purchase. This large piece of land doubled the size of the United States. There was an expectation that a river route could be found that would make travel across the United States more accessible. And general curiosity. People were curious about what lie west. William Clark was an American explorer, soldier, Native American agent, and territorial governor. He was a native of Virginia, but he grew up in what was the state of Kentucky before it became a state. He also later settled in the state of Missouri. He was a planter and he was a slaveholder. Don't forget that I was part of the Corps of Discovery. Yo, Clark, we're about to talk about your main man, your bestie, Meriwether Lewis. Meriwether Lewis was an American explorer, soldier, politician, and public administrator. He's best known for exploring the Louisiana Purchase on the Corps of Discovery with his best friend, William Clark. Just stop. What about me? I helped too. Absolutely right, Sacagawea. You proved to be a valuable resource to Lewis and Clark on their expedition out west. You and your husband, Toussaint Charbonneau, actually helped translate to Native American tribes that Lewis and Clark interacted with. You also helped Lewis and Clark find edible foods along the way. Whoa, this is sweet. What's so sweet? So here I'm standing with Sacagawea and her baby Pomp, who she named Jean-Baptiste. Sacagawea was a victim of being kidnapped. From her Shoshone tribe when she was a lot younger and her countenance was described by Lewis and Clark as being one as being defeated. It was also written in the diary in the journals of Lewis and Clark that she was deathly ill uh, in the journey where she accompanied Lewis and Clark, where they hid her in the back of the pierogi because she was just so sick and they were so nervous about what would happen to uh, Jean Baptiste, which they affectionately called Pomp. Oh, oui, oui, and don't forget about me either. My name is Toussaint Chabonneau. Don't forget about me either. I'm York. I'm the personal slave of William Clark. You most certainly can't forget about me. I'm the third president of the United States. I am Thomas Jefferson. I know, I know, guys. I'm not going to forget you. But first, we got to talk about the Louisiana Purchase. It was purchased in 1803, and it was a land deal between the United States and France, in which the United States acquired approximately 827,000 square miles of land west of the Mississippi River for $15 million. This was by no means a vacation. There were many difficulties that followed Lewis Clark and the entire expedition on their trip out west. Hey yo, I've got a question. What was Fort Clarkson? The good news is, is that there's no such thing as a bad question. The Corps of Discovery spent a winter at Fort Clatsop. Can you imagine what it felt like for Lewis and Clark and the entire expedition to see the Pacific coast in what is now the city of Astoria, Oregon? So here whoa, we are whoa, right whoa. now. Where are you Clatsop taking me? The state of Oregon. Think big. Anything Anything's possible. possible. Let's check out Fort Clatsop. So here we are right now at Fort Clatsop in the state of Oregon, and Lewis and Clark reached their terminal destination of the Pacific coast on the Pacific Ocean in the town of Astoria, which is it was home of the Clatsop Native Americans. Then they established a fort here and then endured a miserable winter. Deep beyond these trees right here is the Pacific Ocean. And what you see is the terminal destination of what Lewis and Clark, their mission was to be sent out west to discover new lands, new people, new animals, new plants. And they were successful in this. The journals of Lewis and Clark record that the winter spent at Fort Clatsop was flat out miserable mostly in part to the vast amount of precipitation that fell during that particular winter. Lewis and Clark slowly adapted their food, clothing, and shelter to mimic the Native Americans that they came in contact with. In September of 1806, Meriwether Lewis and William Clark arrived in St. Louis to a hero's welcome. It's me again, Thomas Jefferson. What were the effects of the Lewis and Clark expedition? 
Well, Mr. President, Lewis and Clark shared vast amounts of information with Americans about the newly acquired territory known as the Louisiana Purchase. They informed you about the diverse geography, wildlife, plant life, and settlements of natives throughout the American West, and their expedition led to a mass migration of Americans out west in search of a new life. And that's our show. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store, our Instagram, our Facebook, and our Pinterest page. Hey yo, did you know that we have a Bowtie Guy YouTube channel? You gotta check it out. New videos are being uploaded all the time. B -b 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 Blogging. Check me out at bowtieguyandwife.com.